Welcome to Geotech Practical Problems. Index Properties in Soil Classification. Number 4, USCS Soil Classification System. Before we continue, please like and subscribe and click the bell icon to get new video updates on your weekly geotechnical topics. Unified Soil Classification System is a modified version of A. Cassegrin's Airfield Classification AC, system developed in 1942 for the Corps of Engineers. Since 1942 the original classification has been expanded and revised in cooperation with the Bureau of Reclamation, so that it applies not only to airfields, but also to embankments, foundations, and other engineering features. This system was adopted in 1952. In 1969 the American Society for Testing and Materials ASTM, adopted the unified system as a standard method for classification for engineering purposes ASTM test designation D2487. The Unified Soil Classification System, or USCS, is the system used internationally to classify soils. Most commonly, it employs a two-letter symbol. The first letter indicates whether the soil is gravel G, sand S, silt M, or clay C. The letter for silt could not be S, as that letter was already used for sand, so the letter M was chosen, in Swedish Mjala means silt. The second letter gives additional information on the soil. For dirty coarse grain soils, the second letter can be M or C, indicating that the gravel or sand has a significant amount of silt or clay particles in it. For clean coarse grain soils, the second letter can be W or P. W indicates that the gravel or sand is clean and well graded, meaning that all particle sizes are more or less represented. P indicates that the gravel or sand is clean and poorly graded, meaning that not all particle sizes are represented. For fine grain soils, the second letter can be H, meaning high plasticity, high liquid limit and high IP, or L for low plasticity, low liquid limit, and low IP. An SC would be a soil with the majority of its particles in the sand size range, and Atterberg limits of the portion smaller than 0.425 mm, consistent with the Atterberg limits of clay. A GP would be a soil with the majority of its particles in the gravel size range, and poorly graded. An ML would be a low plasticity silt, based on its Atterberg limits, and a CH would be a high plasticity clay, again based on its Atterberg limits. The USCS two-letter symbols are understood throughout the world, and help geotechnical engineers communicate with each other, regardless of their native languages. Classification Process the exact process for classifying a soil consists of a series of steps organized in a decision tree as shown in this figure. The first decision is based on the percent passing the number 200 sieve, which has an opening of 0.075 mm. If the soil has more than 50% particles by weight larger than 0.075 mm, sieve number 200, the soil is a coarse grain soil. If the soil has more than 50% by weight smaller than 0.075 mm, sieve number 200, the soil is a fine grain soil. For coarse grain soils, if the percent by weight of the gravel size particles is larger than the percent by weight of the sand size particles, the soil is a gravel, and the first letter is G. If not, the soil is a sand, and the first letter is S. The second letter for a coarse grain soil is W, P, M, or C. If the soil has less than 5% passing number 200, it is clean, and the second letter will be W or P, depending on the coefficient of uniformity Cu, and the coefficient of curvature Cc obtained from the particle size distribution curve. If the coarse grain soil has more than 12% passing number 200, the soil is dirty, and the second letter will be M or C, depending on the Atterberg limits of the portion smaller than 0.425 mm, M will be selected if the soil plots below the A-line on the plasticity chart, and C if it plots above. If the percent passing number 200 is between 5% and 12%, then a dual symbol will be required, as the soil is intermediate between clean and dirty. In this instance, the classification for the less than 5% case and the more than 12% case are obtained, and the soil ends up with a dual symbol, for example, GPGC or SWSM. For fine grain soils, the plasticity index and the liquid limit are plotted on the plasticity chart, and the dual symbol is read from the quadrant of the chart where the point is situated. Example. Classify the following soils. Solution. The soils are classified based on the following criteria. Coarse grain size particles. Retained on the number 200 sieve, 0.075 mm, gravel size particles. Retained on the number 4 sieve, 4.75 mm, sand size particles. 
Passing number 4 sieve, retained on the number 200, fine grain size particles. Passing number 200, plastic and liquid limit, coefficient of uniformity, Cu, and the coefficient of curvature, Cc. Soil number 1. Calculate coarse fraction and fine fraction. The coarse fraction is larger, 92%, so it is a coarse grain soil. Next, calculate the gravel fraction and sand fraction. The gravel fraction, 48%, is larger than the sand fraction, so the soil is in the gravel category. Next, check the number of fine fractions. In this case 8% is between 5% and 12%, so it requires a dual symbol. First, for fines less than 5%. Input the percent finer to the soil particle size chart to acquire the D10, 0.105, D30, 1.05, and D60, 6.1. Next, calculate the CU and CC. The CU value is 58.1, and the CC is 1.7. Based on the CU and the CC value, it is a GW. Second, for fines more than 12%, check the plasticity chart based on the liquid limit and the plasticity index. The liquid limit is 17, and the plasticity index is 6, so the soil is inside hatch zone or GMGC. So, for soil number 1, the classification is GW, GMGC. Soil number 2. The coarse fraction are more significant than the fine fraction, so it is coarse grain soil. The sand fraction is larger than the gravel fraction, so it falls under the sand category. The fine fraction is under 5%, so it is either SW or SP. Now check the soil particle size chart to acquire the D10, D30, and D60. The soil number 2 classification is SP based on the CU and CC. Soil number 3. The coarse fraction is larger than the fine fraction, so it is coarse grain soil. The sand fraction is larger than the gravel fractions, so it falls under the sand category. The fine fraction is under 5%, so it is either SW or SP. Now check the soil particle size chart to acquire the D10, D30, and D60. The soil number 3 classification is SP based on the CU and CC. Soil number 4. The coarse fraction is more significant than the fine fraction, so it is coarse grain soil. The sand fraction is larger than the gravel fractions, so it falls under the sand category. The fine fraction is over 12%, so it is either SM, SMSC, or SE. Now check the plasticity chart. Input the plasticity index and the liquid limit. The soil number 4 classification is SM based on the plasticity chart. Soil number 5. The fine fraction is larger than the coarse fraction, so it is fine grain soil. Now check the plasticity chart. Input the plasticity index and the liquid limit. The soil number 5 classification is ML based on the plasticity chart. Thank you for watching Geotech Practical Problems number 4, Unified Soil Classification System. See you in the next video.